Hi and welcome to Snowfix episode 28, straight out of the forest this week. Yes, with no snow. No, but squirrels and stuff. Squirrels, yeah. Lots yeah. of squirrels. It's not the same, but what's on the show? Uh, Ed Lee is here this week with his top three beginner uh, resorts. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We've got a film segment from the, the Scandi ski film yes. called Red. Awesome. We've got stuff. a really good how to on spinning, 360s, 540s, etc. But first. John O'Verdy. <laughs> in what to do when, <laughs> when it's, it's raining. raining. Yeah. Because of global warming, because of uh, people like George Bush who don't want to sign the Kyoto Agreement, um, this is what we've got to expect nowadays, which means uh, you're going to have to be dealing with a lot of rain when you're coming out to the mountains. Isn't that right, Jim? Yeah. So what do you do when it rains? Mainly pugil stick fighting. <laughs> 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 So if you're not into pugil stick fighting, you could always try drinking. If drinking's not your thing, get yourself on a bike and just have a bit of a cycle around. And that'll help. But if cycling's not your thing, get yourself inside, on your computer, and organise all of your files. How's it going, Tim? Amazing. Good. Get, got everything in order? Everything's in order. If there's just not enough in organising your files, then try... Dragging your car around! So, here's a little tip for you snowboarders out there. Take the liners out of your boots, get a shopping bag. I know it makes you feel like a bag lady, but if you put the liner in the bag, and then put that back in your boot, it does make it a little bit more waterproof. Stops you from getting super wet feet when it's really pissing down the rain. So that's all you have to worry about with your feet. Next up, the rest of you. That's given you a few ideas of what to get up to when it rains. Me, personally, I just feel like going back to my apartment to cry. Jono! Jono Verity! Oh, this time I know it too! If you want to have my papers, sign these! Making this rare. The same one came. 
someone with a microscope studies creatures that swarm and multiply in a drop of water. And yet, across the gulf of space, minds immeasurably superior to ours regard this earth with envious eyes. The Jono thing. Yes. Did I see that wrong? That wasn't was that wasn't George Bush, was it? No, I think it was. Um, it didn't look like him technically. <laughs> no. It looked, uh, more like Colin or he Powell was really to me. Yeah. I think. Yeah, yeah, he was very. He must have come back from holiday. He's in Texas down his range. Yeah, I think. I think that might have been a gag. <gasps> Just a gag. Oh, I get it. I get it. Funny. News. Um, right. Well, the news now. Um, the news. I we don't. I don't have a guest this week because those two guys took off without me. You went to yeah. interview the British Border X snowboard team. That's right. Yeah, last night in Chatel, they just got back from the World Cup in Arosa, so we right. went down to their sort of team chalet, which was pimped. Was it? Was it was ace pool table, massive. a Nintendo Wii mm -hmm. for the kids to play on and stuff. But that was cool, and we just spoke to them about training and stuff. So <laughs> video check games. It out. <laughs> Okay, so I'm here at the GB team base in Chatel with Zoe Gillings. So, how long have you been on the GB team for? Um, basically since the start of us having like an organised team. So, about five years, I think. Five years. Yeah. That's cool. But, and so, talk us through an average day of training. How early are you up on the hill? And... Uh, if we're going to Sasfe, yep. pretty early, because it takes like two hours to get there. <laughs> yeah, sure. So, so I, know, I have to get up at like six-ish. Six-ish. And so, you've just got back from the, the World Cup in Arosa, how did it go? Mm, not too good. Not too good? <laughs> um, yeah, the whole like preparation for it didn't go very well. Yeah? Yeah, especially there was the whole non-snow thing. And then we, um, we found the border cross track in South Bay, which was actually really nice to, re to ride. Yeah. And I got really sick. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, bummer. <laughs> so then I couldn't really ride. So I was, okay, I was feeling okay by the competition day, but yeah. I hadn't really had any practice going into it, so it wasn't very good. didn't have... And what have you got lined up for the rest of the season? Obviously, the World Cup's going to carry on, but um, yeah. any other big, exciting things? Uh, next competition, X Games. X Games. Looking forward to that one. In Aspen. That's going to be wicked, yeah. Sick. Yeah, I've never gone there before, so yeah. that's going to be really cool, I think. How many of the guys are going over there? Uh, from Britain, uh, I believe it's just me. Is it? Yeah. So just bought well, it's Britain. invitation only, so not many people going. And so any other aims and targets for the season? Like, well, what would you most like to be able to say this season you achieved? Um, I'd really like my, my uh, world ranking to go up yep. because it was pretty good and then I had like really difficult season last season because I broke my foot really badly so oh, I couldn't yeah. ride for like half of it and then yeah. the half I could ride I couldn't ride properly and big big problems yeah. anyway so um, I'm trying to get that up back up at the moment problem is there's been no World Cup so far yeah. there was the World Champs I just got back from and um, there was meant to have been three World Cups already and they all got cancelled because of the conditions yeah there was meant to be another two in about a week and a half, they got cancelled, as of today. Really? Actually, as of about an hour ago. Really? So really? now there is only three left in the whole season. Shit. I expect they'll probably put another one on. Yeah. I'm not quite sure where or when. Maybe in Saturday, because they've actually got snow there. Because of the but conditions, yeah. We'll have to see. Well, fingers crossed. Well, good luck with everything. Thank you. Let's, should we do a high five? Sure. <laughs> cool. So that was you two doing stuff without me. Yep. Um, so now my piece of info this week. Yep. Um, this Pakistan has just received their first ever trail groomer, which was donated by Japan. She's oh, a pretty nice, nice move. Yeah. yeah. Very nice they move. also donated 400 um, pairs of skis and some ski suits, and that's in preparation for the Pakistan national ski competition mm -hmm. yeah. and the Asian Winter Games. Yeah. Um, so that's quite cool. That Big up cool. Japan. Helping, helping Pakistan get get going with the ski resorts and stuff. Yeah. That's yeah. Right. We need these kind of resorts to kind of like keep developing like that, Super high more up. chair lifts and so on. Yeah. yeah. Which actually brings me nicely on to um, Slovenia. Nice link, Charlie. Ski lifts. And they've had six new chair lifts this year. One of them's a big six man. Um, they're basically kind of upgrading, becoming, you know, quite a big resort it seems. Yeah. Um, they've just joined the Euro as well. 
Um, so that's cool. it means that it's very easy to compare prices yeah. to other European resorts. It and it a lot more realistic option to go there. Yeah. yeah, and I bet they'll be really cheap yeah. in comparison to Europe. And yeah. We should go check it out. Yeah, I'll tell you what else you should check out. Tell me. Israel and the Lebanon, they've just had two feet of snow. The Lebanon. The Lebanon. <laughs> Lebanon. <laughs> they've just had two feet of snow. Oh man, so, why are we in mud? Well... It's just not fair. It's really bad awesome. actually. I mean. Yeah. It's it's like it's March or April. Yeah. It's all the snows. What we've got left is slush. Uh, yeah, I was gonna yeah. do the show in my bikini, but then fog came <laughs> up. So it was close. It was yeah. this close. Yeah, yeah. You it's not it. like it's even sunny, like blue skies. It's just clouds. It's just fucking yeah. nasty. So, anyways, your news. Sorry. We so no, that was my news. Two feet of snow. But also, um, a little tip for you. Yeah. If you want to see more action on the snow, check out the. Uh, Burton European Open. Yes, in Lax. There's, that's starting on what, what date is it starting? Starts on the 20th, 20th of January. Yeah, and they're doing a live webcast, so you can actually watch it live. That's, that's going to cool. be an awesome competition. Um, Sean White's going to is invited, so yes. he's probably going to be there. Yes. And our friend um, of the show, Jenny Jones, is going to be. Yay, go Jenny! She, was, she came fourth last year. Yes. So she's going to try and top that. Okay, so, cool. Yeah, it's going to be um, one of the highlights of the season for Europe, I think. Yeah, definitely. Considering all the other ones have been cancelled. Mm. Can we have Sean White on the show, guys? I hope so, I hope so. We do, we, we do invite him we every invite so often, him a lot. he hasn't replied Sean, yet. pick up your phone. Mm. Yeah. So, on to a feature. Um, Edley's okay. top three is going to be resorts for beginners. That's right. So if you've not skied before, these are places you should go. Welcome to my top three beginner resorts. Now you're probably wondering what criteria I'm gonna judge this on. There is really only one criteria you need to care about. How far the resort's got its own head shoved up its own arse. Usually, somewhere like Mammoth Lakes, California would be your worst case scenario. It's absolutely full of JP Walker clones who think they're the dog's tits. So steer clear of there. You want a nice down to earth resort with easy pistes. First choice, Teen France. Motorway pistes everywhere, beginner lessons ahoy, and it's cheap. Cheap accommodation, cheap lift passes, and you can get there quickly and easily. So, can't go wrong. Secondly, on your doorstep, any of the snow domes. They're amazing. Cheap lessons, I think it's 50, 60 quid for a three hour lesson. You can walk in there, learn to snowboard, walk out. Castleford, Milton Keynes, Tamworth, can't go wrong. Third and finally, I'm gonna go for Vale in America. If you've got the money, it is expensive, but if you've got the money, go there, you're gonna get high fives galore. If you even stand up, like, oh my God, you did a turn, high fives, get somebody get this guy a hamburger, that's incredible. It's the feel good factor, you can't go wrong. Rotations, or spins as they're called in snowboarding, are the next step after mastering the basic straight air. The key to learning spins is visualisation, so picture doing the trick in your head before you attempt it. Remember, where your head and shoulders go, your body will follow. The half cab was originally a skateboard trick invented by Steve Caballero, and it means you start off backwards, turn 180 degrees in the air and land forwards. It's a forgiving trick as you can see where you're going to land throughout the air. Ride into the jump switch, meaning backwards. On the approach, bend your knees and get low. The lower your centre of gravity, the more pop and control you'll have. Just before the lip, shift your weight slightly to the heel edge of the board and carve up the last section. Wind up the rotation with your shoulders so you're like a coiled spring. As you pop off the kicker, rotate your shoulders towards the landing and this will start the rotation. Once in the air, focus on where you want to land. When you touch down, your board will still feel like it wants to keep spinning, so keep your arms low and use them to counter the rotation. If the spin is too slow and you're under rotating, a good tip is to draw your arms in, which will speed up the spin. Likewise, if you're over-rotating, spread yourself out and you'll start to slow down. So, to recap, position yourself low for balance and control. Coil your body like a spring to initiate the rotation. Pop and open up your shoulders. Focus on the landing and absorb on touchdown. The next step after you've mastered the half cab could be a frontside 180, which is identical to a half cab, only this time you'll be riding in forwards and landing switch. 
A good tip is to remember to keep your arms low to the board and to use them to help kill the spin as you land. Wait until you've ridden out and checked your speed before switching back to forwards. You can also spin in the opposite direction, which is known as backside. The backside 180 is an unnerving spin as you're landing switch and can't see where you're going for most of the trick. Get comfortable with this rotation by just sliding round backside to switch. When that feels natural, ride up to the kicker crouched and just before the lip, put your weight ever so slightly on your toes. As you pop off the lip, turn your shoulders into the spin and tuck your head into the rotation. Look at the kicker you've just ridden off. This will start the spin but won't rotate you too quickly. Keep your arms low, which will make the rotation much more stable. Spot the landing by looking down past your board. But don't twist around to see it or you'll over rotate and catch your toe edge. As you touch down, keep looking uphill. This will keep your body in the right shape. Absorb the landing and then turn to face downhill again. Once you're solid with these basic spins, you'll be able to start increasing the rotations and testing them out on the slopes, in the park and on big mountain terrain. To progress to bigger spins, coil up more on takeoff. Keep looking over your shoulder right through the spin. And remember, tucking in makes you spin faster and opening up makes you slow down. We recommend that you always wear the appropriate protective gear when you're learning. And now, feedback time. Feedback time. Okay, this is one of the best emails I think we've received um, yeah. throughout the history of Snowfish. Ever. Ever. The whole this 28 is, episodes. Yeah, it's very, it's original, it's interactive, and it involves <laughs> free beer. And bums. At the end. <laughs> Again, and bums. bums. Yeah. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> okay, so Vic Weirder from Holland sent us an email saying, well, it's titled, Where the Fuck Are You? Um, Start out. Um, he says he arrived in Morzine one week, and he he picked up, got his iPod out, started watching Snowfix. Good um, boy. Yeah, good boy. He's good boy. watching it on the iPod. iPod. Yeah. I like it in resort, and he realised that we're based in Morzine. So he thought, oh shit, I'm in Morzine. I'll see if I can find them. And so, according to him, I took a big black magic marker and wrote Snowfix on my ass to to be able to moon you in case of meeting you on the slopes. Oh Hang on, is this a chip? Slopes. No, it's Victor. Victor. Oh. Bummer. Oh, you got all excited. Still, good effort. Good effort, <laughs> good definitely. Effort. So he was going to kind of meet us and moon us on the slopes with Snowfix on his ass and then take us out for a beer afterwards. I, I like am that. glad you never found us. Oh, I am no, glad. We, we, we missed out on a free beer. beer. Oh, but, but we didn't miss out on his bum. Well, that's good. <laughs> I'll, I'll look at a bum for a beer. <laughs> definitely. What will you do for a beer? Oh, God. Pretty much. <laughs> so we didn't meet up, but he says... Um, can you please mention your favourite areas in Morzine, your favourite bars and stuff, so that oh. if people want to give us free beer. If you beer, want to find us. We can find us. Come to the cavern, the cavern, Dixie bar. Yeah, and the park we usually ride Yeah, up. park or pipe. Park. Yeah, we'll we're the ones pulling sick hey. shit. Show us your bum. <laughs> <laughs> or just or just say, or would don't. you like a free beer? Yes. And we'll say yes. Do that. Thank you for, for that. Now technically, although you think that might be the best feedback of all time, we did have an equally good one. Yeah, from Chris, from the east coast of uh, the States, where, as you know, there's not been uh, much snow. There has been a lot of rain, so Chris and his mates came up with a little video on what to do which when it's uh, raining, which nauseous, comes right? in very nauseous. nauseous, very handy, because Jono had the same thing. Yeah, let's see, what did the weather predict last night? Yeah, the weather predicted snow. What do we get? Oh, ice! A good old half an inch of ice. Thank you. Thank you, weather. So, for all you Britons snowboarding, uh, I, I hate you. That's all I have to say. Ice. Good old ice. So, wait, so what do we do instead? We go... Ice boy in! No! What's the thing where we sit in the wagons? You have... Wagging. We go wagoning instead. And it's mint, and I'll show you. Ha <laughs> ha!
Oh, yeah, that was good effort, eh? That awesome was nauseous. Effort. Yeah, that was really nauseous stuff, stuff Chris. Well done. Yeah. I think he deserves something, don't you? Well, I think you should get the book this week. Mm, yeah. Picture, yeah, definitely. Because that's mm. a lot more effort than taking a picture, and it was it was wicked. So what, what book is that, Tim? That's the World Snowboard yeah. Guide. <gasps> is it the 11th edition? It is the 11th edition. Oh, my God. Reviews of resorts as well as reviews of boards. Of reviews? Of reviews. Does it? Yeah. Um, is it like Ooh. a Bible of, like, skiing and stuff? Exactly that. Yeah. Exactly that. Cool, and Chris is going to get it because he's good like that. Well done. And you can yeah. win another one next week as well if you send in yeah. pictures of videos like that. Yeah, yeah, and another nice little thing that someone done, Tim in Teddington, he's um, made a MySpace group for yeah, this, the Snow, Snowfix Appreciation Society. Mm -hmm. Pretty if you're on cool. MySpace, you could join the group and you can add us as a friend. Yeah. Because we've got a MySpace, Snowfix yeah. MySpace. So that would be cool. Yeah. And talking of the Snowfix websites, our website has had some big updates, hasn't it? What have we yeah. got now? We've yes, got, what have we got now? I don't know now? where to start. Yeah. We've got With the beginning. The shop. the shop. Yeah. Check it. Have you got a t-shirt yet? I haven't. We'll, we'll get you a t-shirt. Oh, yeah. Look. I will oh, wear hot pants if I get Snowflakes hot pants. Okay, done. That's the done deal. Yeah, there you go. Deal. Okay. So that shop's up. You can buy t-shirts, etc. There's a production blog which mm. we're going to write about, you know, things that go wrong mm. in filming <laughs> um, when computers and stuff break. Yeah, behind the scenes you know, of happens. making Snowflakes basically. It's quite regularly, doesn't it? Yes, yes. There's always a problem. Cameras breaking. <laughs> Oh, computers. computers breaking. Really? Stuff like I don't that, do yeah. computer stuff. I don't know. There you go. It's your job. And also, we're going to start doing some polls. So you can, we're going to put up a question. You can vote. So things on bits of the show that you like or don't like. Like, are you missing the weather? Do you yeah. want it back? You might have noticed that. Mm. Go and yeah. vote. Go and vote on the site, and we'll keep molding the show to the way you like it. Yeah, I mean, to your needs we, and expectations. We did get rid of the weather, but. If there's some kind of ridiculous amount of snow somewhere, we'll kind of mention it in the news. Yeah. So you won't be completely out of the dark. Yeah, yeah. we'll still let you know. Yeah. And we had put so much work into that map and we hadn't mm. used it. The map's going to keep rocking. Heartbreaking. Though. Yeah. Yeah, yeah well, send us pictures because yeah. they're still going up there. To snowfix at negativegravity.co.uk. That's right. And mm -hmm. uh, keep and subscribing on the site. Yeah, and now you can subscribe to all the different kinds of uh, files. So if you want the high quality one, you can actually subscribe to that so you get them automatically. Yeah, that is like. Geeked up to the max. To the nice. max. That's my thing. See you next week, guys. Bye, guys and on. girls. <laughs> you do it too. Good. <laughs>So this week for that extra fix of snow, we've picked the highlights of the 2006 Orange Brits in Lax. This is the cream of British riding and it includes the new airtime event where James Thorne set the new European acid drop record. So check that out on Saturday at 7.30 on Extreme.